We're going to look at factoring polynomials in more than one variable. The idea is still the same, looking for greatest common factor. Now, with more than one variable, it just means we have to look at them individually. So when we get to these variables, the x and y, we will do that. Let's start with the greatest common factor for the coefficients. Remember, coefficients are the numbers in front. So I want to find the largest number divisible by 12, 20, and 16. So if I think of 12, what are some numbers that go in there that are sort of larger? Well, 12, of course, 12 is not divisible by 20. So that doesn't work, okay? I kind of work my way down. 6, but 6 is not divisible by 20. 4, hmm, 4 is divisible by 20 and 16, so that's my greatest common factor is 4. All right, now we look at the variables. Let's look at x first. So x cubed means there's three x's in the first term. 1x in the second, x squared is 2x's. So the max I can factor out is 1 because there is only 1 here. So I'm going to factor out 1x. So we just say x. Then I look at the y's. I have 1y here. y squared means there's 2. y squared there's 2. But because there's only 1 here, that's the maximum I can factor out. Open up your brackets. Let's see what remains. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. Or 4 times what would give me um, 12. Okay, the x cubed. If I had 3 and I took 1 out, I have 2 remaining, x squared. I had 1y, but I took it out, so I don't have any y's left there. All right, the sign is minus. Let's take a look at then, we took 1x out, that's already gone. y squared, we had 2 of them. We took 1 out, we just have 1 left. Uh, oh, I forgot my number, I didn't realize I hadn't written that down. I have to backtrack a bit, sorry that y is correct, but I forgot to go 20 divided by 4, that I have a negative 5 here. Okay, so we have, uh, I should have done that first. So 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Then I look, I don't have any x's, y squared divided by y. Minus 16 divided by 4 is 4. I have x squared and an x. So I've taken one out, one remains. For y, I have y and then I have a y squared. I've taken one out, so one remains and I close my brackets. Don't forget to close your brackets. So you can multiply through four times three is 12, x times x squared is x cubed, or you have three of them, times y is just y. Four times negative five is negative 20, xy times y is xy squared. Four times four is negative 16, xy times xy means you have x squared times y squared. Remember your adding exponent is another way to think about it. All right. We're going to look at look um, 8 next. You can try it on your own. The one comment I'm going to make, and I'll write a note on the side, is that if you have a negative number to start off with, we call that your leading coefficient, it's customary to factor out the negative number so that we don't have a negative number to start with in our brackets. Okay, so that's something to think about. How could you factor out a negative number to change that? So you can give that a try before watching the next video.